Hey everybody, it's Clark over at Amplified Parts and we're going to do a really cool demo today. We're going to show you how to make your own guitar cables using some of the cable as well as the Neutrik ends that we now carry. Uh, I would probably think one of the best things about making your own cables is A, you can make them to any length you need and B, it is a very cost effective way of making custom cables. That's a fairly simple process. We're going to take you through it. Now we're going to be really focusing on one particular type of end and some cable today, but as always, we love to hear your suggestions. Feel free to put in the comments section if you'd like to see us uh, do this same thing with any of the other products that we have over here, okay? Let's get right into it, guys. First, we're going to strip the end of the cable. There are special tools available to help remove the outer jacket, but if you don't have access to one, careful use of a sharp blade will work just fine. Pliers may help removing the outer jacket if it is almost ready to be removed. Once the outer jacket is off, pull back the strands of the copper shield and twist them together. Remove part of the electrostatic shield using a pair of wire strippers. The gauge may vary depending on the cable used. In this case, 12 gauge is perfect. Next, remove part of the center insulation. 16 gauge works for this cable. There should be a small length of center insulation exposed between the electrostatic shield and the center conductor. Twist the copper strands of the center conductor together. And now we are going to tin the copper shield and the center conductor. It will help if you have something to hold the cable in place, like a vice grip or a pair of helping hands. We sell those. First, tin the length of the outer shield. Now repeat the process for the center conductor. Before the cable can be soldered into the plug, we need to slide the base of the plug over the cable. In this case, there are two pieces that go over the cable. Next, we are going to solder the cable to the plug using a vice grip to hold the cable and a pair of helping hands to hold the plug. Line up the center conductor to the inside contact and the outer shield to the contact on the plug's jacket. You may need to make some adjustments to the leads to get them to fit in properly. Once you have the connections lined up, they can both be soldered into place. And now we'll finish assembling the plug. First, slide the inner plastic cover up the cable. Then slide on the outer cover. Now screw the plastic bushing into the plug's base. And here we have it. You've just started the process of making your own cable. Of course, you're going to need to do the same thing to the other end. Um, feel free to check the links below. We're going to have links for the parts and some of the other items that you would need for this, including tools. And uh, again, if you have any questions or concerns, put them in our comments, okay? Thanks, guys. Have fun with this. And uh, AmplifiedParts.com. Thanks.